Just about set for football. Blake Groupie is ready to get us started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This fielded right at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of the team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four on that first play, and it's second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now here's Davis to run again on second. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's Williams throwing on third and long. He's got space past the 25. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs hey. back in the block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. Here's a give to Davis. And he's got a Bengals first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Good sign here early. Everybody on offense there up front in the backfield in sync on that play. So much talk about what do you do to neutralize home field advantage? Well, teams that run the football effectively, they often have a way of neutralizing it in a big way when they have those types of runs. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 42. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. This is Davis, and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Williams looking to throw on second down. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. He finds his man complete. That's done. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Back to throw. Williams. Throw left side complete. That's Hopkins. Touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins. 28 yards. 
And the Bengals post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that makes the score 7-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. So now here are the Dolphins getting set for their first drive. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a literal rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency, yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Random to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards to pick up, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Ready. On play action, it's Dobbs. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he will be out of bounds. A good yardage there, and he'll get a second to catch his breath as it leads us right into the two-minute warning. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Dobbs now on second down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. George Pickens, 27 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. The Charles here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert, and along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He connected on all five of his throws on that opening drive and finished it with a touchdown pass as they begin here first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Williams. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Williams now on first and 10. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end Andrews. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Ready, ready. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Roll, roll, Operating from the gun, Williams. 
He finds his man complete. That's done. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window hey, closed hey. quickly. Now is second and hey, ten. Hey. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw, and that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. What will look like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. And he's going to have the first down as they move into field goal range here at the 25-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. They're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. A 33-yarder from the left hash. Boswell's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village studios in the EA Sports Halftime report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this and was going to be a battle. You back we have not been disappointed. Davis, this is the kind of game that could wind up hinging here. on which side to play mistake-free football the rest of the way. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need... A chance hit, and the ball is held, and the Bengals grab it, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. To the opposite of what they envisioned when they left that locker room, a turnover on the opening drive of this third quarter. I like your identification there, because that's exactly what they discussed in the locker room before they came out on the field. Let's get the ball. Let's go down and score, put some points on the board, and feel good about it. Not an insurmountable lead, but definitely not how they saw it at halftime. Here we go, here we go. Now Davis. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 31, here's a second down and four. Looking to throw, Williams toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. 
to give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. It's hauled in by Hardy. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back to throw. Williams, his throw incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Third quarter of a two-point game, a good one so far. Here's second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Bengals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Davis is going backwards here, all the way back to the five-yard line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead is now 17-8. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Now that should give him a spark. He's across the 40 to the 43. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And they'll come up second and seven. Drop those sweet. Drop those sweet. Again, it's A-Chan. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Off the play fake. Here's Dobbs. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards, and they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the... Back now here on EA Sports. And it's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. On first and 10, Dobbs. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. On second down, Dobbs. Looking for Ridley on the out route. He's got him. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. 
That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Dobbs is throwing to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Here's Dobbs to throw. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. George Pickens. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. They'll try and throw for it. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two, they don't get it. Should have been picked, probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense. Yeah, that's true. You've said that before. The Bengals' offense now, they head back onto the field. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. That pass is caught by Hardy. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Bengals in possession of the football hey, here hey, as we get your reset. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's Davis to try and run some clock. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. Davis. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly, to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down. Keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and rely on my D. Now Williams, off play action. To the sideline and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. This is brought in at the 21. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. So the Dolphins now down by a field goal. A minute 37 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Dobbs throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So an ideal set of circumstances there. They move the chains, and they save that final timeout. Absolutely ideal there. Get a good size play, get out of bounds. Well, you saw the coaching there. That is taught, and it is emphasized. Get out of bounds, understand your situation, as well as just understanding the game. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. Pioneer. 
Delay of game, offense. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Penalties not what they needed here. First and 15. Dobbs. Finds Pickens out right. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. Here comes second down at five. Now Dobbs. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. This entire defensive unit, Charlie, really put in a good shift tonight, so to speak. I like how you phrased that. This has been a good shift. They punched the clock the entire evening. Ought to have shirts that have their names on them in the front to let them know these are blue-collar workers who are getting it done. A potential field goal, if you're thinking about that, almost 55 yards from here as they try to get closer on third down. He's back to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Will the defense pressure or sit back? Here's fourth and five. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill, the offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they will take a knee here. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Here's Davis now, and it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Taken in at the 22. Well, a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Here's first and three, ten. Three. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Maybe looking for a flag, but they're not going to get one there. They took a shot, hoping to find a way to sneak into field goal range, but it's incomplete. And now with time almost gone, the task gets much more difficult. He's going to let it fly. And this is caught. And he's in. Charles, that drive was perfect, methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. 
That's just terrific situational football to end this one. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right, that reserve tank. They hauled it out. Offense scored some points, defense held them, and lo and behold, they walk away with a win. Maybe expend a little more energy than they expected to, but they'll take it. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.